the latest on International Women's Day, Black Panther star Danai Gurira says a hit movie is showing the world that women and men can work shoulder to shoulder and their abilities are equally valued in a society. Gurira spoke at an event marking International Women's Day on Thursday at UN headquarters in New York. The powerful message Matna Onagit, now we act is projected on the Eiffel Tower on the eve of International Women's Day to honor women's rights and promote the French equivalent of the Time's Up movement, in Paris, Wednesday, March 7, 2018. Launched by the Foundation of Women, the movement aims to raise funds for associations helping women pursue cases before justice, so that no woman, ever again has to say hashtag me too. AP photo slash Francois Mori, photo credit. AP She says the movie has made a massive splash because such a representation of powerful women is rarely seen. The Zimbabwean-American actress and Tony Award-winning playwright says she was thankful to be handed the role of Okoye, who in nobility and put the needs of her country and people first. She says she wants Okoye to remind the world that those women already exist. Underscore get the latest breaking news as it happens. By clicking sign up, you agree to our privacy policy. Oscar-winning actress Reese Witherspoon says the Time's Up campaign launched by women in Hollywood to combat sexual harassment raised $20 million in 10 days and has helped 1,500 women with harassment suits against their employers. Witherspoon spoke at an event marking International Women's Day on Thursday at UN headquarters. She says the response to the Time's Up Legal Defense Fund is incredible and shows how many more people are going to need these services. Women bang pots and pans at shooting slogans during a protest, marking the beginning of a 24-hour women's strike at the Sol Square in Madrid, early Thursday, March 8, 2018. Women in Spain have been called for a 24-hour feminist strike, in their workplaces and also stopped doing duties at home during the International Women's Day. AP photo slash Francisco Seco, photo credit, AP The Big Little Lies star who told the audience that she was assaulted by a director when she was 16 years old, says that women deserve 50% of the representation and 50% of the salaries. She says women will no longer continue to do work without being paid properly for it. Underscore tens of thousands of people marched in Argentina's capital on International Women's Day to condemn violence against women and to demand equal rights and legalized abortion. The demonstrators Thursday banged on drums, chanted slogans and carried flags and banners along the streets of Buenos Aires, marching in front of the Congress building. Many women wore green handkerchiefs symbolizing the abortion rights movement. Argentina allows abortion only in cases of rape or risk to a woman's health. But, dozens of Argentine lawmakers from several political parties presented a bill Tuesday that would legalize elective abortion in the first 14 weeks of pregnancy. Some demonstrators lay on the streets, motionless while wearing white shirts stained with red paint to look like blood. The banners next to them read, while you debate, we die. Underscore hundreds of Brazilian women are, marching to demand equal rights and protest gender-based violence to mark International Women's Day. Marchers in Sao Paulo on Thursday were drawing attention to issues as varied as a wage, gap, abortion rights sexual harassment in the workplace and sexual assault on the streets. Groups are also marching in Rio de Janeiro. Brazil has one of the world's highest homicide rates for women, and stories of sexual assault against women on public transport frequently made news in the past year. Christian Correa de Souza derided the fact that many stores were handing out flowers to their female customers on Thursday. The 31-year-old factory worker said the practice glossed over the serious issues facing women, like unequal salaries and sexual assault, on buses. Underscore Google is highlighting 12 female artists in its doodle to commemorate International Women's Day, and the online search leader launched a new tool that makes it easier to find local businesses that are owned, let or founded by women. The new tool will be a permanent feature, and is also available for people who want to find businesses friendly to the lesbian gay, bisexual, transgender and questioning and or queer, LGBTQ, community. The company also hosted a discussion with Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon, the actresses Storm Reid and Gugu Mbadara and director Ava DuVernay to talk about their new film, Disney's Wrinkle in Time, on YouTube. That said, Google, like other tech companies, has been criticized for hiring too few women, especially in technical roles and is the subject of a lawsuit alleging that it underpaid women compared with their male counterparts. 
underscore New York City's fearless, girl statue, a tourist attraction for the last year, is donning a new outfit Thursday, a cape of blue flowers. The cape, courtesy of retailer Old Navy, is part of, the worldwide events for International Women's Day. Meanwhile, a replica of fearless girl was installed in Oslo, Norway. The statue's creator, Kristen Visible, says she's excited we have a piece, on the other side of the world. The New York statue is staying put for now while city officials figure out where it's going next to spread its message of, female empowerment. A spokeswoman for Mayor Bill de Blasio said Thursday that she expects to announce, the, next steps very soon. The statue's owner, investment firm State Street Global Advisors, says the company is working with the mayor's office to determine a permanent solution. Underscore UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres says the world is at a pivotal moment for women's rights, and is urging men and boys to join in making gender equality a reality for all. The UN chief told the start said an event at UN headquarters marking International Women's Day. On Thursday that for decades, women have been calling for the equality that is their right. Today, they are shaking the pillars of patriarchy, Gutters said. They are insisting on, lasting change. This is what women and girls want. And that is what I want. And to loud applause, he declared, it is what every sensible man and boy should want. Underscore the White House used International Women's Day to announce that First Lady Melania Trump will present State Department Courage Awards to women from around the world at a March 21st ceremony. The award recognizes women who have shown courage and leadership in pressing for women's rights worldwide. Their courage only furthers my belief in the powerful impact women can make through solidarity and support of one another, Mrs. Trump said. Our strength is something to be celebrated. Rallies and other events were being held around the world Thursday to mark International Women's Day. Underscore thousands of women are taking over the central arteries of cities across Spain for evening marches to protest against wage gaps and gender violence, and to demand an end to glass ceilings for female workers. If we stop. The World Stops has become the slogan opening more than 300 protests. They come after a full day of striking on Thursday to mark International Women's Day. Some 5.3 million people participated, according to two of the country's main workers' unions. The March 8th Commission, a platform of feminist organizations that organized the marches across the country, said that women working at home, unpaid caretakers and students were a main focus of this year's protests. Strikes were especially noticeable in media, with prominent female anchors and journalists absent from television screens and radio programs. Nearly 7,500 female journalists have signed a manifesto calling for equal pay, and opportunities. Underscore chanting women power. And we are defending women's lives. A few thousand women marched through downtown Warsaw on Thursday to mark International Women's Day. The demonstrators were protesting violence against women and demanding equal pay with men. Some carried black umbrellas, a symbol of their successful, massive protests in 2016 that blocked plans by the right-wing government to further tighten Poland's strict anti-abortion law. Similar marches are held in other cities across predominantly Catholic Poland, as well as around the world. Underscore Kroger says it will light up at Cincinnati headquarters for International Women's Day. Another example of how corporations are honoring the day. The supermarket operator, which also owns the Ralphs, Owens and Roundy's chains, says, the 25-story building will be illuminated with the female Venus symbol Thursday night. Many companies are trying to spotlight women for the day. McDonald's, for example, flipped its Golden Arches logo on its website to look like a W. Underscore black glasses covering part of their badly burned face. A victim of an acid attack joined hundreds of activists who rallied in Pakistan's port city of Karachi on Thursday to denounce violence against women and mark International Women's Day. Acid attacks are not uncommon in Pakistan, where men sometimes assault women for refusing to marry them. A Karachi's rally, held amid tight security, hundreds of Muslims and minority Christian women stood up as a sign of respect when the acid attack victim joined them. Victims of acid attacks tend to avoid public gatherings. They are often treated at hospitals with financial assistance from non-governmental organizations. Underscore McDonald's has temporarily flipped its famous golden arches to look like a W, a move it says it made to recognize International Women's Day.
the Upside Down logo appeared Thursday on the fast food giant's website and social media account. It also flipped the arches at one restaurant in Linwood, California. McDonald's says it at about 100 of its 14,000 restaurants, packaging and worker uniforms, will have the flipped logo. McDonald's also says 6 out of 10 of its restaurant managers are women and it wanted to honor their accomplishments. The Oak Brook, Illinois-based company, says it's the first time it has flipped its Golden Arches logo since they debuted at a restaurant six decades ago. Underscore hundreds of women have protested in Kosovo's capital, to commemorate International Women's Day. Some posters held up during the demonstration and Pristina said we march, we do not celebrate in job for me. Lilieta Ailu of the non-profit, justice and equality organization says that we fight for our rights as women. We want our rights at the workplace. We don't want to be sexually harassed. Kosovo's ombudsman has, acknowledged that women are still discriminated against in the property and job markets. Underscore three current and former French ministers have performed in a play about women's sexual experiences amid, the French government's push to highlight gender inequality. The state secretary for women's rights, Marlene Schiappa, performed in the Vagina monologues alongside Rosaline Bachelot, health minister under conservative president Nicolas, Sarkozy, and Miriam L. Colmery, labor minister under socialist president François Hollande. Schiappa is currently championing a new bill targeting sexual violence and harassment. Theater producer Jean-Marc Dumontet, who organized, Wednesday's performance in Paris, Stress the three politicians took a risk. Delmontet told the Associated Press that it brings women's issues to a very prominent position. They are really speaking, out? Bachelot says she agreed to perform the play with Schiappa because the fight for gender equality goes beyond political divides. Underscore Catholic women are challenging Pope Francis to give women a greater voice in Catholic Church decision-making warning that they are leaving the church in droves because its all-male leadership refuses to change their entrenched second-class status. Former Irish, President Mary McAleese, an outspoken advocate for women's ordination and gay rights, was a keynote speaker Thursday at an International Women's Day conference that was moved off Vatican territory this year because the Cardinal declined to sponsor it due to McAleese's participation. In her speech, delivered at the Rome headquarters of Francis and Jesuit Order, McAleese said the Catholic Church has, long since been a primary global carrier of the toxic virus of misogyny. Its leadership has never sought a cure for the virus though the cure is freely available, its, name is equality. Underscore French President Emmanuel Macron says his government is going to name and shame companies that don't respect the law on gender equality. For International Women's Day, Macron has visited a property company awarded for its efforts towards gender equality. He said that pointing the finger at companies that don't comply with the law will make them change, because no one wants to be the worst student in the class. Prime Minister Edward Philippe unveiled Wednesday a government plan to push for gender equality in the workplace. One measure would sanction companies with more than 50 employees, if there is an unjustified gender wage gap, with a substantial financial penalty. Statistics show at the same age and equivalent job. There is a 9% gap between the wages of men and women in France underscore Asia Argento, an Italian actress who helped launch the hashtag MeToo movement, is launching a new movement, hashtag WeToo, which aims to unite women against the power imbalance in favor of men. Argento told Radio 24 on Thursday that her aim was to finally change the patriarchal system so rooted in our culture, not just in Italy. She called on women to join her at a women's march in Rome later in the day and participate in a strike to illustrate the contributions of women at home and in the workplace. Argento helped give strength to other women to report sexual assault and harassment, when she accused Harvey Weinstein of rape and exposed by the New Yorker. The accusations drew a backlash in Italy for having waited 20 years to come forward. Underscore, hundreds of women have marched in Pakistan's capital and elsewhere on International Women's Day, demanding more rights and denouncing harassment which is common at homes and in workplaces. Chanting, slogans, they rallied in the capital Islamabad, Pakistan's largest city Karachi, and in the cultural capital of Lahore. At Thursday's rallies, women denounced violence against them in Pakistan, where nearly 1,000 women are killed by close relatives each year in so-called honor killings. Prime Minister Shahid Khan Abbasi earlier addressed a gathering of women and assured them full protection. 
women in Pakistan have a reasonable presence in the parliament but they have to rely on fellow male lawmakers to amend discriminatory or flawed laws. Pakistani women have largely been deprived of their rights since the country gained independence in 1947. Underscore Prince Harry and his fiancée Meghan Markle have met female students studying science, technology, engineering and math as part of celebrations marking International Women's Day. Some 90 students met the royal couple on Thursday at Millennium Point in Birmingham as part of an event to inspire young people to take part in science and tech careers. Markle seemed impressed by the aspirations of the students, many of whom wanted to be doctors or surgeons. Harry and Markle are touring the country to introduce the American actors to the people of Britain before their marriage at Windsor Castle on May 19. Underscore South African President Cyril Ramaphosa says South Africans must work together to improve the status of women who face discrimination and disadvantages at home and in the workplace. Ramaphosa, who took office last month, said Thursday that his compatriots should use International Women's Day to decide what they can do to advance gender equality. Ramaphosa says South Africa has made progress toward equality since the end of apartheid, 1994 and building an equal society. He said patriarchy has no place in the South Africa we are building today. South Africa has a high rate of violent crime, including rape. Underscore German Chancellor Angela Merkel says on International Women's Day that while much has been achieved, the struggle for more equality for women in Germany and worldwide must continue. Merkel, considered one of the world's most powerful women, said Thursday in a video message that many women before us have made sacrifices and fought persistently so that women would have more rights, but there's still a lot to do. The Chancellor said that, there are also new tasks for men, but she didn't elaborate further. Merkel, added, therefore today is not only a day to look back at what has been achieved, but also a day on which we say, the struggle for equal rights, of women continues. Underscore Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni is urging men to stop physically abusing their wives, in official remarks Thursday while marking International Women's Day. Domestic violence is common across in Uganda, although victims rarely report perpetrators to the police for fear of being stigmatized or thrown out of their homes. If you want to fight, why don't you look for a fellow man and fight? Museveni said, calling domestic abusers cowards. Museveni said lifting women up economically, through education and entrepreneurship, can help bring an end to rampant domestic violence. He said, if the girls are not economically empowered, they will remain vulnerable to these bully men. Underscore a leading French newspaper has found a novel way to mark International Women's Day by upping its price for men to mimic the pay gap. The hour at front page of Thursday's edition of the left leaning Daily Liberation wrote in bold letters for women 2 euros, normal price. The paper added that for one day only, men would pay 50 cents more, a reflection of the 25% less that women in France are paid the men, on average. Liberation said it wants to highlight this injustice with its price increase for men. A punishment? No. A contribution. The paper, wrote on the front page, saying the extra money recovered from men on Thursday would go to the Laboratory of Equality, which has long fought for gender equality. Underscore U.S. National soccer team striker Alex Morgan and Brazil forward Marta are among the players chosen for the fifth pro women's world 11. The team was announced Thursday to coincide with International Women's Day. Goalkeeper Hedvig Lindahl of Sweden is joined by defenders Nella Fischer of Sweden, Lucy Bronze of England, Irene Paredes of Spain and Wendy Renard of France. Midfielder Jennifer Morozin of Germany, Camille Abelie of France, Pernille Harder of Denmark and Leek Martens of the Netherlands round out the 11. Morgan says having a women's world 11 team helps female footballers recognize the talent among their peers and I'm really happy to encourage and be a part of that. Underscore opposition presidential candidate Ksenia Sobchak has conducted a solo, picking outside the lower house of the Russian parliament to demand the resignation of a prominent lawmaker whom several female journalists accuse of sexual harassment. The allegations against Leonid Slutsky, head of the Duma's Foreign Affairs Committee, include sexual groping and making demeaning comments. Parliament Speaker Vyacheslav Volodinos dismissed the complaints, saying that journalists who feel unsafe covering the Duma should get other jobs. Sobchak held their demonstration on Thursday, International Women's Day, which is observed as a public holiday in Russia.
she yelled at placard reading deputies, we don't want you. President Vladimir Putin, with approval ratings of some 80%, is seeking a fourth term in the March 18th election. Underscore Spanish women are marking International Women's Day with the first ever full day strike and dozens of protests across the country against the wage gap and gender violence. Under the slogan If we stop, the world, stops, women working both in and outside their homes, unpaid caretakers and students are called to join the 24-hour strike by the March 8th Commission a platform of feminist organizations, that also demands equal opportunities for working women. KU and UGT, two of the main workers' unions in Spain have called for morning and afternoon two-hour work stoppages. In Madrid, a massive demonstration was expected later in the evening. In Barcelona, protesters who disrupted traffic into the city center were seen in social media videos being pushed by anti-riot police, agents, Underscore during Taliban rule many would have been afraid to leave their homes, but hundreds of women gathered in the Afghan capital Kabul on Thursday to commemorate International Women's Day, and to remind their leaders that plenty of work remains to be done to give Afghan women a voice, ensure their education and protect them from increasing violence. The head of the Independent Human Rights Commission, Shima Samar, directed some comments at women in Afghanistan's security forces. Your safety represents the safety of all Afghan women she said, reminding women in uniform to report any abuse by superiors to the Rise Commission. She said no one has the right to comment on their physical appearance or to speak to them disrespectfully. Underscore this item has been corrected to show that the women gathered in Kabul but did not march. Underscore hundreds of women have held street plays and marched in the Indian capital to highlight domestic violence, sexual attacks and discrimination in jobs and wages on International Women's Day. They carried placards reading, Unite Against Violence Against Women, Man Enough to Say No to Domestic Abuse, and My Body, My Choice. Violent crime against women has been on the rise in India despite tough laws enacted by the government. Office workers, school teachers and sex workers were among those participating in the 2-kilometer, 1.25-mile, march, which ended near Parliament. Prime Minister Narendra Modi tweeted, India is moving from women development to women-led development. Through their exemplary deeds, several women have left an indelible mark in the history of humankind. Underscore hundreds of South Koreans are staging a protest in support of the hashtag MeToo movement on International Women's Day. Protesters, many wearing black and holding black signs reading hashtag MeToo, gathered in central Seoul. They called for bringing alleged sexual offenders to justice as well as action on other issues such as closing a gender pay gap. Since the female prosecutor's revelation in January of workplace mistreatment and sexual misconduct, South Korea's hashtag MeToo movement has gained major traction. The list of women who speak out is growing daily. Several high-profile men have resigned from positions of power, including a governor who was a leading presidential contender before he was accused of repeatedly raping his secretary. Underscore Myanmar leader Aung San Suu Kyi says peaceful democracies make good use of women's strength in political, economic and social fields. In a speech marking International Women's Day, she said, a country's human rights values will be enhanced when women are granted their rights. Thursday was the third year the annual event was celebrated under a civilian government in Myanmar, where the military that long ruled the country is still powerful. Suchi leads the political party that won by a landslide in 2015 elections but the constitution bars her from becoming the president. Though Myanmar has a woman leading its civilian government, a profound gender gap remains in the country of 52 million people. Underscore students at China's prestigious Tsinghua University are celebrating International Women's Day with banners making light of a proposed constitutional amendment to scrap term limits for the country's president. One banner joked that a boyfriend's terms should also have no limits, while another said, a country cannot exist, without a constitution, as we cannot exist without you. Photos of the banners were shared on Chinese social media Wednesday night before they were scrubbed by censors. Several online commenters, also said the posters appeared to have been swiftly removed. China's ceremonial legislature is poised to pass a constitutional amendment that will allow President Xi Jinping to rule indefinitely during its ongoing annual session. Despite heavy censorship, the move has been criticized by liberal intellectuals as a return to dictatorship and satirized online. Underscore marches and demonstrations in Asia are K. 
kicking off rallies around the world to mark International Women's Day. Hundreds of women activists in pink and purple shirts protested Thursday in the Philippines against President Rodrigo Duterte, who, they said is among the worst violators of women's rights in Asia. Protest leaders sang and danced in a boisterous rally in downtown Manila's Plaza Miranda. They handed red and white roses to mothers, sisters and widows of several drug suspects slain under Duterte's deadly crackdown on illegal drugs. A rally for the rights of female workers was scheduled for later Thursday in central Seoul and South Korea, where a rapidly spreading hashtag MeToo movement is galvanizing support for women's issues. Other events are planned across Asia, the Mideast, Europe and, 